40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. Four forward. There have been a number of Apollo missions. The first of them landed on the moon in July 1969. So we now have um, a fairly large suite of samples um, from various locations on the moon of different types of rock samples as well. Here at Chico State, we're really, really lucky as geologists because we try and bring in um, experts as much as possible or samples so that our students get to experience as wide of a series of um, rocks and experiences as possible. One of those options is the, the moon rocks from NASA. That's not a common thing. That's not something you get to see that often. You maybe get to see it if you go to the Natural History Museum or something, but then it's behind glass. You never get to interact with thin sections of moon rocks. That's incredible. It's such a special experience for the students um, to get to play with these. We study moon rock as geologists because we're interested in how the moon formed and how our planet formed and how those things are related. Was the moon tectonically active like the Earth currently is, right? Do we have plates moving across the surface of it and volcanic processes occurring? It's a very unusual experience. So our students are really lucky um, that we are able to bring these to them.